Yo, what is up everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to use the drop shadow effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, the, what the drop shadow does is it just basically enhances logos and text. So as you can see right here, I have the Apple logo right here, Starbucks logo, the Adidas logo, and then just a the text right here. Now, all together, they look pretty cool, but by using a drop shadow, it, uh, it helps to add depth. So this is just kind of looks kind of like a, just like a 2D, like a very basic kind of 2D kind of like sticker almost. It looks okay, but the drop shadow adds depth to it, and it just makes it um, look um, a lot cooler. So as you can see right here, just have a logo on a white background right here. Obviously, you know, a white background is going to be the best. It's going to look the best um, with the shadow. So it's going to be the, the, the best way to demonstrate it right there. So you can see right here, here is the Apple logo. Now I'm going to head over to the effects panel right here. Go to all. And I'm going to go ahead and type in drop shadow right here. So you can see right here, here, the, here is the name of the effect drop shadow right here I'm gonna take the drop shadow and then just apply it onto the clip right here as you can see voila as you can see it looks a lot better just by just adding that symbol drop shadow as you can see it just adds depth to the logo right here so you can see right here now I can go ahead you know and try and change um the color right here I could try to change you know the different so you can see right here I can change the color of the drop shadow right here so there we go I could change the color um to green right there and as you can see right here, now it's back to its normal color so you can go through and change a whole bunch of settings you can adjust the opacity that all you know, is dependent your preset you have blur i mean you, you increase blur a little bit, blur fall off so you can see right there that, you know, that looks kind of interesting right there you have the perspective amount right here um you have the position of the shadow right here so you can adjust kind of the different shadow right here you have that kind of like perspective shadow right here so you can go ahead and mess with a whole bunch of settings right there and that's just, you know one example right here i wanted to show you a whole bunch of different examples so I'll go to starbucks logo go to drop shadow and now i'm just going to apply a drop shadow right here and as you can see obviously you know this is in the thumbnail as you can see that just basically adds character to the logo and just makes it look um, a lot nicer so you can actually you know, create some pretty cool logos doing final cut you can you know, create your own logo and then you got a drop shadow right there so this is really cool it just adds a lot of depth now i want to show you an example what if what if um you know logo looks something like this with text well if i apply the drop shadow right here onto the ds logo that looks a little bit weird like yeah, i'll go and just disable right here so you can see that looks you know, kind of a little bit weird so i'm going to go over to the drop shadow right here click on this right here and i'm just going to drag it you know like right here so let's just drag it right there and as you can see there we go now that looks a lot better it's not you know really obvious as a shadow but just again create some depth um to your logo and just make it look um a lot nicer right there the next one i'll do is go over how to add a drop shadow to a text right here so you can see that looks pretty cool but it looks you know very like 2d and kind of just like a sticker like you just kind of you know, just slapped it onto this white background and of course you, know, you can go through text and adjust you know a glow change the outline you have a whole bunch of settings but the one that i want to go right here is drop shadow as you can see there you go just instantly um that looks a lot better so you can see right here that already adds some character to it if i disable it this is with uh, without it and this is with the drop shadow as you can see it just adds some character to the text and makes it look a lot nicer again I could head over here and I can, you know, change the drop shadow to whatever color I want. Okay, you can see that kind of like this orange um, hue around the text right here. You can change any color. I could try to change it to um, a gradient right here. So you can go through and just mess with a whole bunch of different settings right here. I can adjust the blur right here. I could go over here to the distance right here. As you can see right here, that's what it looks like right there. I think the default distance, maybe you like change it to like, you know, seven or something like that you can you know adjust um adjust until you get the look that you want but that's literally where uh, literally where it is just go to text go to drop shadow and you can see it just adds um a, a, a whole bunch of character to the text right there i think that is you know a really really cool um a feature right there so you can see there you go that's what it looks like right there it just adds a whole bunch of character to the actual you know um text and just add some more depth to it and just makes it look um a lot nicer right there 
Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 260 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.